generally the first thing I do is I start out by taking um, these two straps out here. They're cam latch straps and uh, you can see I have all my straps in here. I take one of those straps and I attach it to the rear loop of the carrier that you can see that's already here set up. And then I'll stretch that out so that it'll fold and fall into the tailgate area of my truck. Next I'm going to get the bike and roll it up the ramp. As you can see the bike's not too far far away. See, we got the bike rolled up on there. What I'm going to do is reach back here with the bike falling on me and take that strap that I put over down there and it threw into the truck bed. I'm going to loop it over the handlebars here. Hopefully, that's in the shot. And I'm going to take up some of the slack, but not all of the slack, so it's leaning out away from the truck. There we go. Yeah, that looks. So what I would normally do from here is remove the ramp and actually use the thumb screws to uh, tie the ramp down, but I don't need to do that in this case because we're going to be filming unloading it next. So we're just going to continue to tie it down. So now once I got one of these on there, I'm going to reach in and take the rest of the slack out. So it's standing up more or less straight up and down. Check the rear tire and make sure it's square in the carrier. And you can see it's standing up on its own at this point. So I'm going to get the other strap. So it's also a cam lock strap. And the orange part goes up. So I'm going to hook that here and hook it around the handlebar in more or less the same spot as the other one. Once we got that done, I'm going to take out the slack on this one and pull out, pull down and out a little bit to take up a bit of the slack. I'm going to grab the bed of the truck and pull in to pick up a little more of the slack. We should be good there. Yeah, we got plenty of space. Cool. So at that point, we've got those two on. We have two more ratchet straps. This one has hooks on both ends and is a regular ratchet strap. So we're going to take that one and lay it out. There we go. And one end of that is going to go right here. I don't know if I'm blocking that. Let me see. Try to get out of the way. So one end goes right here. And the other end, here goes back around through here uh, at a suitable angle back to there and then we tighten this down We're pretty good and tight on all three of the straps, so we're good there. And the last thing we want to do is tie down the uh, rear tire. So basically we have another ratchet strap, only this one has no ends on it, so you just feed it back through itself. Um, go ahead and open that up. And let me get this stuff out of the way here. Hopefully this filming turns out okay. So I'm going to straighten that out. Grab the end of that. Feed it back through here. Making sure it's not looped too much or at all, if possible.
basically take that up a few notches. There you go. And it is tied down. Then you just deal with the loose ends, right? So basically we've got here to here, on the inside over here to here. And then we've got one that goes around the back tire and then one that holds the actual back tire to the frame carrier. So now let's unload the darn thing. Okay, so we'll do things exactly the opposite uh, sort of stepwise that we had done before. First, take off the rear wheel. And not the rear wheel, the rear wheel um, tie down strap. And we'll take off the one here in the middle. It goes to the front of the rear wheel. Rear wheel. All right. So we can get that out. Not too much fuss. Yep. And then we'll deal with the two uh, cam clamps. So I'm just going to take off this one here a little, okay, and then I'll do this one, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and take this one, the outside strap, all the way off, and I'm going to leave the inside one on, but I'm going to leave it so that it's hanging this way, the bike's hanging away from the truck, and I'm going to take this. And instead of trying to back it off, I'm going to start the motorcycle, put this under the front wheel, and pull it off. Much easier than trying to back it out. There we go. So just raised up on the front tire, stuck the ramp in under the front lip and we'll start it up. Now we'll put it in first gear and take it off of here. Got unhooked from the straps. We are free. All three straps. Good. Let's go. That's all there is to it.